द लेटर मुगल्स औरंगजेब द लास्ट ऑफ द ग्रेट मुगल्स स्पेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ हिज रूल फाइटिंग वॉर्स इन द डेकन After the death of Aurangzeb in 1707 his eldest son Bahadur Shah defeated his brothers and sat on the throne and took the title of Shah Alam In 1712 he died and was succeeded by his son Jahandar Shah During the reign of Jahandar Shah two of his nobles known as sayed brothers played an important part in politics and put the people of their choice on the throne in fact they became king makers they made the mughal emperor a puppet in their hands persian invasion Nadir Shah the ruler of Persia invaded India in 1739 during the rule of Muhammad Shah He plundered Delhi and took back with him the famous Kohinoor diamond and the peacock throne besides other valuables In 1748 Ahmad Shah Abdali his successor attacked India and repeatedly invaded India over the next few years he conquered Punjab he also defeated the Marathas in the third battle of Panipat these invasions led to the disintegration of the mighty Mughal empire rise of regional powers the decline of mughal empire led to the emergence of several autonomous regions murshid kuli khan the governor of bengal took advantage of the declining power of the mughals he seized power and became independent ruler of delhi In AD 1740 Ali Wardi Khan became the ruler of Bengal Under him Bengal Bihar and Odisha became independent states He was succeeded by Sirajuddullah These rulers made Bengal rich prosperous and peaceful Their prosperity attracted the british the british defeated sirajuddullah in the battle of palasi ad 1757 and therefore bengal became the first state to be annexed by them avadh in 1722 sadat khan was appointed the governor of awadh by muhammad shah sadat khan was succeeded by his son in law safdar jang in ad 1739 these rulers ruled over awadh as independent rulers hyderabad the state of hyderabad was founded by chin kulich khan a powerful noble in the court of farooq siar and muhammad shah he was made the governor of the deccan and was given the titles of nizamul mulk and azaf jah the successors of nizamul mulk were known as the nizams the azaf jahi dynasty founded by him ruled over hyderabad till 1948 when the state finally merged with the republic of india
The six. The execution of Guru Tegh Bahadur by Aurangzeb in 1675 turned the six against the Mughals. As a reaction to this, his son and the tenth Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, took over the leadership of the six and started the Khalsa movement. Under him, the six became a strong political as well as military force. After his death, the leadership of Khalsa passed into the hands of Banda Bahadur, his disciple. After the death of Banda Bahadur in 1716, there was no single great leader. So the six divided themselves into twelve small administrative units, known as missiles. Each missile had a specific area and a leader. Maharaja Ranjit Singh, the leader of a missile, reunited all the missiles and extended the boundaries of Sikh kingdom from the rivers Yamuna to Indus. During his rule, the Sikh kingdom reached to glorious heights. The Rajputs. After the death of Aurangzeb, most of the Rajput rulers freed themselves from central control. The late Mughals. Appointed Raja Ajit Singh of Jodhpur as the governor of Gujarat, and Raja Savai Jai Singh of Ambar as the governor of Malwa. He founded the city of Jaipur on strict architectural principle and made it his capital. The Jats. The Jats were a community of prosperous agriculturists in the Mathura Agra region near Delhi. During the late 17th and 18th centuries, the Jats consolidated their power under their leader Churaman, who laid the foundation of Jat dynasty in Bharatpur. The kingdom of Bharatpur emerged as a strong state under their able ruler Surajmal. who was good commander and an administrator